Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be showing you how to use an Excel table to write dynamic SQL statements using Power Query. If you run on a regular basis queries to any database, most likely you have received a request in which someone asks you to get some data from the server based on a list of values. You can write this SQL statement manually doing something like this. However, if the list of values sent in the request is too long, it may take too much time. But you can use Power Query to build a SQL statement that will generate automatically all the conditions in the WHERE statement. The first thing that we need to do is to have that list of values in an Excel table. And then let's add that as a table. We're gonna name it sales order. Now let's add it as a query. I will change the year data type to text. And after that, I will load this query as a connection. The next step is to connect to our server. In this case, I will query a MySQL database. So that's the one that I'm going to select. In the next window, you need to indicate the server, the database and the SQL statement. This SQL statement has all the columns that I want in my final query. After I have my SQL statement here, I will write limit 10. So it will only load the first 10 rows. If you are using SQL Server, you need to use top 10 after the select word. Then we hit OK and let's load this data. And let's go back to the list of sales order that we want to query. This is an example of how each condition should look. We are going to query based on the sales order number and based on the year. So we need to be able to generate this by each of the rows that we have in the list of values that the user sent. And let's add a new column. Let's start by opening parentheses and then writing the sales order number column. We know the sales order is a string, so we need to put it between single quotation marks. And then we are going to use the year function in MySQL to extract the year from the order date. Next, we need to put here and here the values that will come from the columns that we have in our list. And we are going to do that by concatenating the column names that we just wrote with the values in each of the rows. We need to close the parentheses here. Next, let's convert this column to a list. If you remember, we need to put all those pair of conditions together using an OR statement. We can do that with the text combine function. So let's go to our formula bar and write text combine. Let's write a comma and then we need to indicate Power Query, which is the separator that we want to use for each of the elements in the list. In this case, we want to put all those elements together by using the word or and after hitting enter our list is now a text that has everything concatenated and for now we are only missing to add the word word at the beginning let's hit enter and now we are ready to concatenate this set of conditions with our main query that we have here let's go to our source step and then expand the formula bar the first thing that we need to do is to remove the limit 10 part and after that, we are going to concatenate the existing select statement with what we have in the sales order query. So let's just call it. Next is going to ask us permissions to, to run a native query. Let's hit run. And depending on the setup that you have in Power Query, you may get an error. To fix this, let's just go to file and then options and settings and then query options. Here we go to privacy and then we ignore the privacy levels and then refresh. And after that, we see all the values that we need. Then we just close and load, wait a couple of seconds and see the new results in our spreadsheet. Next time you get a similar request, you just need to replace the values in your table, copy the new values that are being requested, and then just go to refresh all and see the new values in your table. That's it for this video. We hope you find this useful. Thank you so much for watching. We are Power GI.